Hey, welcome to Workout Tips. Today we're looking at a move we did a few weeks ago called the ball up. It's a really good gymnastic accessory movement, but it also can be used for your weightlifting movements. It's basically getting, you're used to using the lats, the side of the back. This is what a ball up looks like. Roxy's gonna hang off the bar. We're gonna see an active hang. She's gonna pull her knees to her hips. And in that position, it doesn't change. She's gonna push the bar away and stay in that ball up position until her shoelaces touch the bar. So active hang. You're gonna see this kick in, knees to chest. At that point, you're gonna just tuck in, push the bar away, push the bar away, touch. This should still be working nice and tight here. So you're gonna lower down, nice controlled. So you're gonna fold, extend the legs. That's it. Now, there are varying degrees of difficulty with this movement. The idea is we're going into active hang, so the shoulders are pulled down. And as we tuck the knees in, we're pushing the bar away. And as we bring that ball position, it shouldn't move the higher up we go. The idea is to get the shoelaces to touch the bar without extending the legs. This is a really good movement if you see pull-ups, toaster bar, even just to get the side of the back, the lats, warmed up before certain movements. You can come in early before a class or stay behind after a class. It's a really good way of building your awareness of that, what that should feel like and that movement. But it also has a huge knock-on effect to loads of other gymnastics and weightlifting movements. That is the ball-up.